Hello, welcome to another Scott Adkins power kicking tutorial. Today we're going to be working on the side kick. So you're in your fighting stance, whether that's with this foot more forwards, whether you're a bit more side on like this, whether you've got your weight on your back foot, weight on both feet, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which style you want to want to start from. What's important is what you do with your hips before you throw the side kick. So what I like to do is I'm, I'm here, you know, I've got my techniques all coming from the same place. And then if I want if if I want to throw that side kick, what I want to do is I want to turn this this foot out here. This back foot turns out so that my toes are pointing that way and that my heels pointing that way. Now let me just show you the proper end position for a side kick because it's actually really important and the traditional martial art like karate or taekwondo is really going to drill this into you and it's really important that you know this because if you know the end position that you're supposed to end up in then it's going to be easier to transition to that from whatever stance you're in you know what the end position is so you're going to get there easier so just to talk about the very last position should be with these toes pointing that way, this heel pointing that way, and you notice that I'm completely side on. In fact, I'm more than side on, I'm actually going to be a little bit turned so that this shoulder is not side on here, but this shoulder is down a little bit, so my back is facing the, uh, the opponent a little bit, yeah? The back is turned towards him a little bit. Now that might seem strange to people, like more well, a side kick, not a back kick, but if you want to get the proper uh, position for that side kick, in my opinion, coming from a Taekwondo player, is to be here like this. Okay, so I'm not here like that. I mean, that, you know, that's that's a pretty good side kick, and I wouldn't say that isn't a side kick, but I think you should actually be here. That's your perfect side kick position. Yeah. So if I was practicing this side kick in Taekwondo, I'd probably step up here with that foot turning behind this this foot, and I would kick with my toes. Your toes need to be down. All right, so this is my heel. These are my toes. If your toes are up like this, that means your hips are in the wrong position. Make sure your toes are down below your hips. And you've really got to pull your toes back. Yeah? Pull your toes back. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that you should hit this position exactly, but if you're thinking, okay, this is my perfect side kick position like this then it's going to help you get close to that when you perform this kick properly but a good indication is always if my toes are higher than my heel then that's not the side kick position you've got to get the heel higher than the toes and I'm going to be hitting with the ridge of the foot the ridge the knife's edge whatever you want to call it and mostly the heel but also if you pull your toes back Stick that ridge out, and that right there is your perfect side kick position. Shoulder down a bit. Yeah, you need to be flexible for this kick. I'm not feeling very flexible today, I'll be honest with you. If you can do this, but you're still struggling to kick head height, then maybe you're not leaning back enough. Maybe you're trying to do your side kick like this, but you're trying to keep your head up. What are you going to do with that side kick? You've got to, you've got to lean back. I'm leaning back, kicking out like so. Leaning back, kicking out like so. So back to this kick, how to get it out swiftly with good technique. I'm moving around, I'm on my toes, I'm fighting. Maybe he rushes towards me, maybe I just want to throw the kick. But the key is, I'm going to turn on this foot. That's going to turn my hips into the correct position. And traditional martial arts, you're going to be taught to chain to the knee, and then hit through like that. Chain to the knee, hit through. And that's your legitimate side kick technique. To turn, knee up, side kick. Turn, knee up, side kick. But what I would suggest to you guys is don't bother with the chambering of the knee. That's great to practice with. And where I point the knee, the foot will follow. It's good for practicing, it's good for beginners, but if you really want to do this technique with speed, and you're better off just turning into the position and kicking straight out. Don't waste time bringing the knee up. 
and pushing through. Because I also believe that you want to use the power from the floor. So as soon as I've turned, I want to jump off the floor. I want to keep the momentum of that push going as I hit through to the kick. Yeah? If I just bring the knee up and then go out like that, so I've gone up and then I've done a right angle, 90 degree turn, and then I've gone this way. Every bit of uh, power from the floor that I've generated, I've stopped, I've changed direction, I've gone this way, I've, I've wasted that power. From here you want to turn and then just kick. Kick off the front, push off the floor, go straight into the kick, but of course you've got to keep that perfect technique. Okay, so from here, turn the foot, kick. That's your perfect side kick there, lead leg side kick. Now maybe my toe wasn't completely below my heel all the time. You know, you're never going to be able to do it perfectly, well sometimes, but you know, it's depending on where the other guy is, right? But you should always be aiming to get your toes lower than the heel. And then you're going to know you're going to, that you're in the correct position and it is the correct technique. Because the thing about it is, for this side kick to really work, you want to really hit him just with the heel. You want to dig that smaller area into the solar plexus. If you're hitting with a flat foot, then there's, you're spreading that space over the body and the impact is not as, uh, well, it doesn't hurt as much. Because a small, you know, you imagine a woman with a stiletto shoe on, whacking that stiletto into your solar plexus is gonna hurt a lot more than a woman with trainers on, hitting with the front of the foot. Yeah, that's what we do when we're doing the movies and I'll do a front kick uh, or a side kick. If I'm doing a side kick in the movies, I will make sure that I don't just hit with the heel. I'll make sure that I hit with the flat of the foot. Reason is, it's gonna be easier for the stuntman to accept that and we're gonna do it take after take and it's not gonna put him in hospital. So what you wanna do is make sure you're hitting with that heel, just the heel. Maybe it won't happen all the time, but if you want this to be as devastating as, you, as it can be, you just wanna hit with the heel and the ridge. Don't hit with the toes, don't hit with the flat of the foot. And the reason I'm saying that is because if your toes are up, you probably are hitting with the toes or the flat of the foot. If your toes are down, it's gonna be easier just to kick with the heel. Okay, so again, here we are, moving around and fighting, side to side movement, forward and back. He's coming at me or I wanna to go to him. Turn that foot, twist the hips, kick through with the side kick. perfect all the time and I know I am perfect most of the time. Shut up. There's even more power that we can get into this side kick. If I can put my weight behind the kick, I'm going to increase the power of this side kick. I'm 86 kilograms, maybe 88, get on the biscuits. If I can move forwards with the kick, then there's going to be more power here. If I can shift my body weight, into the kick, and you end up hitting Bob harder. I mean, this is a good technique, just to keep people away. I think you can even uh, jump back and use it. But of course you can attack with it as well. You can really attack by pushing your body into the target like so. Get my body weight behind it. So in order to do that, I'm gonna remember my technique, which is to put that hip in the correct position but I can push off the floor with the back foot and push myself into the kick. And at that point, I'm gonna get myself into the correct technique and, and implement the side kick. That's why it's really important to get the correct technique and to do, you know, to drill from this position to drill. It fits in with the, the correct technique. You know, don't think about uh, telegraphing the kick. It's just really important to be able to get the correct side kick you know, the correct position. So you know how you should feel when you're there. Yeah, so many times I'll see the side kick with this foot not turned out enough, the toes sticking up. But if you can just get that, that good technique, it's 
going to pay dividends in the end. So guys, never forget your basics. Never forget the basics of practicing those front kicks, practicing the round kick, and twisting on the foot, practicing the side kick, ending up in the correct position. You know, don't fear the man that can do a thousand kicks. Fear the man that practiced the one kick a thousand times, as Bruce Lee once famously said. I'm going to jump forwards, pushing off the back leg. So here I am, I'm fighting and then. I'm slow today because I was jogging yesterday and I haven't done it for a while. My calves are absolutely killing me. That's my excuse. Okay, so from here, twist, kick. Moving my body into the kick now. Now, of course, if I was to telegraph it and set the finger up in good, in, uh, in a good position, I can kick much harder from here like that. But I'm telegraphing the kick. So the key is from here to set that up. One, one thing I do like to do, I think works quite well, is if I, was going, if I was throwing the round kick and I missed, well, I'm in a perfect position now for the side kick where I can really hit with power. So sometimes that's a good technique to use. If I throw in that front leg or back leg, round kick and missed, I come through to here, now in the perfect place to hit with the side kick. Should he lean back and he's going to come in. If I miss with that first kick, then that side kick is set up brilliantly. And that is a technique that I do like to use. Problem is, when you do as many movies as I do, uh, and I'm so used to kicking the flat of the foot, that maybe if I did get into a street fight, so I don't get into many street fights, when was the last one I had? Probably 15, 20 years ago. But anyway, I probably would end up hitting them with the flat of the foot, because oh, I'm just too nice to the stuntman, what can I say? Yeah, I I'm nice to the stuntman. You what, mate? <clears throat> Evolution.